Hey guys, just wanted to go through some underrated products with you guys. Uh, these are products that I haven't really seen mentioned anywhere online. Uh, and I'm wondering why, because they're so good. So this is the first part of the series and we're going to start off with some lip products. I'm going to remove what I've got on my lips right now because it was just a little experiment. Um, it's doing a little bit of playing with some makeup earlier on. Right, so I've just sorted out my lip line uh, with a little bit of foundation just to cover up the mistake I made. I've got two lip products here and they're both from the same line. So these are the Pixie by Petra uh, Matte Last Liquid Lip. Um, they're amazing and I don't know why more people aren't talking about them. I don't know maybe if they've just kind of phased out and initially when they were launched people were talking about them. But I don't really see anybody talking about them online at the moment so I just wanted to bring this to your attention in case you're looking for a really good uh, liquid lipstick. So I'm going to apply the shades. We've got uh, Evening Rose and Really Rose. Evening Rose is my favourite one. I feel like it's so, um, the colour is a little bit more my, my style. They're very very close in tone. Let me just quickly swatch that for you. So that is Evening rose right there. Just going to apply it to my lip and show you guys the shade on my lip. And that is the shade Evening Rose. So as you can see it's such a lovely colour but I want to talk about the formula. It's such an amazing formula. It literally lasts for hours on your lips, through drinking, through eating. The dry down is amazing. It's comfortable. It doesn't, you know, feel sticky or tight on your lips once it's dry. It's super comfortable. And um, I have the driest lips sometimes. And when I put this on, it just, it glides over the, the dry skin so beautifully and it makes my lips look just pillowy and soft as you can see. Um, the thing that I also love about this is the um, applicator. It's like a, it's a doe foot but it's got a little hole in the middle to grab as much product as possible so I only really you know dip in once with these and it's got a little bend um, on one side so that it kind of hugs your lips as you're applying it and I love how pointed the the edges the top is because you don't even need to bother with a lip liner when you're applying this it's just amazingly um, precise in the in the application um, so you can see as it's drying down that is the shade um, as it dries down and um, it's one of my most favourite shades. I've used this on various photo shoots, special events uh, that have happened in my life. So I have quite an attachment to this shade in particular, um, Evening Rose. So if you haven't tried it out before, highly recommend. I am just gonna apply the other shade for you guys as well so you can see what it looks like. It's the shade Really Rose. So just gonna remove this first. Oh, and also the removal. Super easy. Um, it just comes off um, as you're washing your face. You know, if you uh, use a cleanser, it'll come right off. Or uh, makeup uh, micellar water um, on a cotton pad, it'll come right off. So it's not difficult to remove either. I will just swatch this shade as well. It's slightly more pinkier. The other one's slightly more mauve, I would say. Um, so this is the shade Really Rose and so you can see, so that's the shade Really Rose, you can see how it's uh, a bit more pinker, the other one is kind of more mauve in tone. So I like to apply these in all sorts of ways, 
Today I applied it without a lip liner. You can see how precise the lines are um, because of the applicator, how wonderful the applicator does job. Um, but I do like to apply uh, a lip liner sometimes and then go with this in the middle. Also love to apply a gloss on top of this and it's incredible that even though you're applying a gloss, you would expect it to disrupt the formula underneath and I find that it really doesn't, it do doesn't, um, you know, make the long lastingness of the uh, lipstick any less. In fact, the lip gloss sort of wears away eventually and it'll leave a beautiful stain. Even without the lip gloss, uh, the way this wears off is so natural and so um, even that, you know, you can literally go through a whole night without really needing to touch up. You can touch up, you know, in between if you've eaten and things if you want to, but um, the the way that it just wears off, it's so soft, it's so even, it doesn't, you know, peel off or anything like that. You can see it's not sticky, it's so comfortable, and I don't know why more people aren't talking about this. So um, if you come across these, I would say grab, 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 you wouldn't be disappointed. So yes, this is my first set of recommendation in underrated products. It is the Pixie by Petra Matte Last Liquid Lip in the shades uh, Really Rose and Evening Rose.